job at the line, and that one falls to pick up the end one. Yet to miss a free throw here in the second half, guys. And you love that efficiency from the foul. Wow. Wow, man. Wow, that was just a dream? Dang, I thought... That don't, that don't seem so real. I mean, they were chanting MVP for me and everything. Wow, that... Wow, that's just that's just disappointing. But is that something I could possibly get in the future? An MVP award? I don't, I don't know. But I'm waking up early today because I got something very important to do. Um, the city of Washington has asked me to greet Robert Griffin III, better known as RG3, to Washington, because it has been officially announced that he is joining the Washington Redskins. So. That's kind. Of, that's pretty cool, right? Two two rookies from out of Washington going to greet each other, going to hang out today. But basically, I'm just going to say what's up and kind of show them around the city. Not too much, but you know, just enough. But I was actually a big fan of Robert Griffin and Baylor. I got to watch him a little bit over the season. But as you see me pulling up, I got the Lambo out. I know y'all missed that Lambo. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I hop out with the doors flying up. And what's that Robert Griffin got over there? Mm, that car look pretty tight too. Keep up the good work. So I say what up you to him. Right by me. Say what's up back. You know what I'm saying? Just showing love. You know what I'm saying? So after sitting out there talking for a little while, he got this crazy idea, man. He said, you know, I know, I know your your sport is basketball, but how about you come out here? We got a couple of receivers out here, and you just catch a couple of passes with us, man. So I'm like, sure, man. They got me a custom jersey and everything, man. So how could I turn it down? But that first pass he throws to me, that one was too fast. I couldn't catch up to that one, so incomplete. Then he throw another one to me, and I just take that one to the end zone. But then after that one, I was feeling kind of good, you know what I'm saying? So I get another catch, and I just have to jump into that end zone, looking all fly and stuff. <laughs> but uh, after that, I got the crazy idea. I'm like, hey, man, today I play your sport. So how about you come and play my sport? So he said, yeah, so we, so we go to the gym, and he's going to play me in the game of horse. And you know, I don't like to lose. So I'm going into my best stuff, got the fader. Then I hit him with a step back to try to ice this game up. And Robert Griffin is a football player that should stick to football because this guy couldn't hit no shot. He couldn't even hit water if he jumped in the ocean. This guy was just awful, awful man. Then he really wanted to leave after this. I'm, I, uh, I don't even know what to say about that. But he told me he was gonna show up to the next game that we have. So here we go. Okay, I'm smoked out, sizzed up, I'm so high, like what the fuck? I'm in the clouds, ain't coming down. Got your bitch while I face down. I'm smoking till I overdose. Sizzy got me feeling like I'm on the boat. Wavy like an astronaut, I'm out of space, sitting chilling on Pluto, rolling up that dower while I'm sipping on that nouveau. I'm so blazed up. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Stax Montana, and um, got the NBA 2K12 for y'all, man. But yeah, they're my stats for the year. We coming down to the playoffs. I think we got two more games left for the. Oh my God. That's how that's how we starting off games now. That's how we starting off games now, Mr. Montana. Yep, that's how we starting them off though. But yeah, we got two games left before the playoffs. So I'm gonna try to get. Oh, what the? F what the, what's going on? Like two dunks in a row to start the game off. But yeah, we trying to get to these playoffs. I was trying to say this for since the video, well, since the gameplay started. But trying to get to the playoffs, we got two more games. I'll probably bring you one of those games and so like the end of the season awards. And look at this, yo, this this what I was talking about in my wish list video, the Ray Allen windmill. <coughs> now that shouldn't even, how old is he? Like, why is he dunking like that? Like, but anyway, I'm probably going to bring you one more of those games and then bring in the season awards and all types of stuff like that, show you the playoff tree. But... Right now we 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 fighting for first place in the East because we we at second. You already know who won first the Miami Heat. We, we, but the reason why we want first place because we get first place, we can possibly play the Sixers first instead of playing Atlanta first. So it'd just be a better matchup for us, uh, you know, because we very unexperienced in the um, playoffs, you know. So we definitely want to try to um, get get as easy as matchup as we can. 
for us to advance into the next round. But anyway, to the gameplay, you see me, who that Rondo right there? Oh, can he guard me? Can he guard me? Crossing over a little bit. Oh, cro oh, that's Miguel Peaches. I gave him a cross and just threw it inside to my boy Anderson Ver um, Anderson Verjal. Wow. To um, Jan Vesely. Right now, I'm pulling up to beat the buzzer and get that shot. That was a big shot right there in the, in the quarter, man. You know what I'm saying? Who else doing it like that but your boy Romel Hicks? You know what I'm saying? Then they just hit me with the ball right there. I didn't even try to get a steal. And then I just pull up because they were denying the inside and I didn't want to get a contact layup. But right here, we're in the fast break and this guy just runs out of bounds. I, I thought they was going to do some type of alley-oop or something. something. This guy just runs out of bounds with it. And this is why I like calling plays. Look at this. Air time, man. I know you know it was going to be long before you seen some air time in this video. You know what I'm saying? I, I, like, I like to keep the air time very, very fluent, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, on the ball right here, I got him up in the air. And then another dunk. Another, I'm just dunking on everybody this game, man. You know what I'm saying? Brandon Bass, I'm sorry. I bet you wish you were still in Orlando. But I do play on Superstar. That's why you see the 10 second free throws right there. But anyway, doing my free throw routine. Put that ball up. It's not a perfect release, but it's pretty good. All right. Shot clock at six. Well, crossing over, clock clock running down, and see we've been playing pretty good defense on on the Celtics this game. Um, that's pretty much why we got. Oh my gosh! And one. Are you are you kidding? Are you kidding? <laughs> nah, man. Um, we were, um playing pretty good defense on him, so. We be getting out to a good lead on him, not allowing him to do anything. And Paul Pierce just crossed me up. He passed over there. He missed. We get the rebound back, and I get blocked. So on our defense, so on that this this score isn't like this just because we keep scoring. It's like this because we score and then we play defense. But look at that pass. Tell me I ain't the best. Hold on, I'm about to make a statement here. I may be the best passing small four on YouTube. I mean, did you see that pass? The way I just turned around it. Look at that block. Can I possibly get defensive player of the year with my MVP award if I get it? I don't know, but I think I may be the best passer small for on YouTube. But you see Garnett getting fouled, and I get subbed out. And then when I get subbed back in, it look like the Celtics are trying to make a comeback into this game, but I'm going to try to deny that. So I come back in the game, you already know they call him a play for me, but the play break down. So I'm like, you know what, just give me a screen. So I fix the screen, come back around, and getting straight to the room, easy layup. And I didn't even notice how much points I had. Y'all never really see me go off in the game. As you see, they call that great play for Ray Allen, hit that three. Y'all never see me go off in the game. Y'all see me with uh, around 30, 30 some points. Y'all never see me go off this much as y'all about to see. Because I refuse to let my team lose, you know, going into the playoffs. I'm trying to go into the playoffs on a nice winning streak. But, uh, yeah, man, like, we got a whole bunch of unexperienced guys on our team you know, that's, that, that's new to the playoffs. But I'm definitely trying to get that first seed because it, it'd just be better for us to get that first seed to get a better matchup. Even if we do beat the Hawks first round, we might have the Knicks second round. And we only beat the Knicks one time this season out of four. So it's going to be crazy. And actually, this is a big game for us because we, we have yet to really beat on good teams. You know what I'm saying? We have we didn't really do good against teams. That's, that's playoff teams, I'm put it like that. We don't really do that good against playoff teams. But all that is turning around. As you see, I'm starting to kick the lead out on them. And what would a video be without that patent to leaner? You know what I'm saying? My pantalinas be all that. But it's a three on one. And I thought he was going to pass it. And look at that floater. And that was, that was, I had to throw that in this video. Um, that, was, that was the first floater I ever seen, actually, in this game. But he just floated all over me. I'm disrespecting Rondo on defense, sagging off him. Get that still. I'm running a fast break. Running down. And then he just, he just too small for me. So I just put all body on him. You know what I'm saying is push him on out the way, get, get Rondo out of here. Then I thought I got that block, but 
you see they not they not really trying to lose. They not trying to trying to lose right now. They 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 coming back. You know the Celtics, even though they are um an old team, they they never really are out of games. They always get a push to come back. You see my boy KG hit the shot to put him down too. But like I said, I refuse to lose. So I'm in the corner and I'm hitting that three. You know that's going down. Um, I got my three point up. So now y'all gotta guard me from out there. But the boy Paul Pierce came back and hit a three right back at me. So it, it, this game has been crazy. And this is the first time y'all seen this play all game. And I come around and I'm just being real disrespectful to my elders. Let's put it like that. But uh, my boy Roger Mason missing shots that he's supposed to make. Because he is a three-point shooter. But he missed that. But my boy Trevor Booker gets the rebound and put it back up. So you see me running around the screen. My boy isolated my boy Blotch and KG just pulled the chair on him and that just led to an easy Rondo fast break layup. So that was, that was pretty good defense by the um, Boston Celtics. Now I'm running around another screen and you know I'm throwing it up. Getting buckets from three now. I'm saying this beasting man. But let's see what they're doing right now. They get a steal. They turn the ball over and then I just dunk all on Jermaine O'Neal. I bet you he wished he would have retired last season because I just disrespected him just now. Like, like I've been disrespecting my elders all game. Like this whole game, just dunking on everybody, whoever under there just get dunked on. And then Paul Pierce goes to double team and leave me open. Then I just hit two threes this quarter. Like you don't understand. Like what is wrong with you? So I'm coming around another screen. I'm like, hold up, I'm hot, but I missed that three. So it's whatever. But I'm coming around the screen. I can't see nothing, but look. Look at that pass. Yo. Yo. I ain't the best passing small forward on YouTube. I'm not. I'm not. Oh, my gosh. I ain't the best passing small forward on YouTube. I, look. I. Come on now. I ain't the best. I mean, when I say pass, I don't mean how many assists you get. I'm talking about the type of passes. And look at that. Look at this. I'm, I'm 95 speed. Why was Paul Pierce just outrunning me right there? I have no idea, but they just throw up a deep three, and that's missing. But uh, I come around, and I see my boy. Look, look, you know what I'm saying? The quality of your pass is not just throwing it into congestion in the paint. I'm talking about finding your men actually wide open. I'm saying that's why I feel like I'm the best passer. And look at this and one. That dunk was, <laughs> dunk was crazy. That's a circus shot for real. But um, we just basically just just put a beating on these dudes. Like it just it just got too real for them. You know what I'm saying? Um, the younger team got the got the best of the older team and was able to pick up this win. So um, yeah, I am out. So high, feeling like I'm out of space. So high, feeling like I'm out of space. Blowing on a loud, yeah, we smoke a lot. Got me feeling like an astronaut in outer space. Feeling like I'm out of space. Feeling like I'm out of space. Tonight's win makes it seven in a row for you guys. How long can this ride last? It's great that we're playing so well, but the only thing that matters is where you end up, not how you get there, know what I mean? Streaks like this get the fans really excited, and, and I'm glad about that. We're working hard for them out there.